Phil, I think it was a difficult wait for us. I guess it was a frustrating wait for you. You want to be manager of this football club after all. Yeah, very pleased to, to come on board. It's a fantastic challenge, but it's one I'm really looking forward to and I can't wait to get started. You've managed at a few clubs. Why does Bolton right now grab you? Uh, I think for myself, personally, it was a fresh challenge. I've been at Bradford nearly five years and enjoyed every minute of that. Um, but you know, when the opportunity came to, to speak to Bolton, I mean, I'd looked into it over the last week or so and uh, just thought that it's a club which uh, um, has got the platform ready to go forward again and um, hopefully I can play my part in achieving that. Let's get Bradford sort of out of the way if you like. Yeah. How much of a wrench was that bearing in mind? You know, I think you're fifth, sixth longest serving manager in the, in the whole football league. Yeah, yeah very much so and uh, I'd like to thank all the supporters there for the tremendous backing they've given me, not just in the good times we've had but at the start when it was really tough in, in Division 2. All the people behind the scenes have worked so hard alongside me, uh, the new owners, um, who've been terrific and handled this um, very professionally and obviously Julian Rhodes and Mark Lorne who, who brought me to the club five years ago. Um, so many people you know, played a big part in Bradford's recent history and now it's for them to, to create another chapter. You mentioned that word tough, people would say this is a tough place to come, does that kind of experience put you in good stead for a challenge like Bolton Wanderers? Yeah that's exactly that, I think uh, life is all about uh, taking on challenges and you know, appreciate this is a, a tough one. Uh, but it's one I'm relishing as long as the staff who have come on board with me and uh, you know, come Monday morning, we're ready to get going. Did it take much of a sell from Ken and Dean? Uh, not really, I had a good chat um, with Ken yesterday and again for a long time this morning and um, you know, he's got a real plan to take the club forward and um, uh, he feels that a lot of the problems are now resolved and it's ready to, to move upwards again and uh, we've got to get some principles right back on the pitch, uh, the motivation of the, of the team, uh, the desire, the, the running power, everything you need to be successful. We've got to get some building blocks back in place first and um, there's some good quality players here. My job is to get more out of them uh, but also add to that and uh, try and attract the best players we can within our budget. One of the major obstacles is a transfer embargo. What's he told you about the likelihood of that being yeah. passed? Well, obviously, you know, to get players in, we need that uh, taken away. Uh, Ken's got a meeting next week and um, you know he's very confident that'll be the case. Because otherwise you're working with a pretty start, small staff of players. Like. Yeah, listen, to be successful, you know, you need a good squad and the stadium and the, the name of Bolton Wanderers won't be what gets us to the top end of this division. It'll be the quality of the squad and in uh, five, six weeks' time, um, I'll be able to say yeah, more clearly what I feel our chances are. One of the things you have got though is a, is a vibrant, lively academy. You've brought players through in the last couple of seasons. That's been one yeah. of the kind of shoots that I guess Bolton Wanderers fans have sort of clung to when, when times have been difficult. Yeah, and similar to when I was at Charlton, that um, it was tough times financially. Um, but they, uh, Richard Murray there always kept the academy going um, to some degree and kept the standards and attracted good players. And, and that paid a lot of dividends for them. And I see the same at at Bolton, um, there's a lot of good players coming through, a lot of work has gone on behind the scenes um, at that grassroots type of level and um, for the people of Bolton that's great to see. You mentioned the word mentality there, it was almost last season losing became something of a habit, is it mm. about almost transforming that from day one and getting people thinking up rather than down? Yeah, that's right, got to change that uh, quickly and uh, that starts on the training ground straight away, first day pre-season, um, we've got to get the belief back in the group of players and um, like get more out of each player who, who was here last year because there's uh, quality here and the ones we bring in make sure they've got that drive and determination to come on a journey with us. Is that an easy thing to do or does that come down to the belief in what you do? Um, well I believe I can do it and i um, got the staff alongside me who are going to help us achieve that um, but it's getting the right characters in and um, getting more out of the players we've got. And the target to get out of this division as soon as possible, I guess you'd, you'd want to be out this time next year, wouldn't you? Yeah, ideally. Every manager at the start of the season wants to be at the top of the league. And, um, of course, I'm no different. Um, but um, I want to see what squad we uh, end up with. Um, there's going to be a lot of work. Maybe some might go. Um, quite a few will be coming in. And um, you know, I've got to work exceptionally hard alongside the board to build a squad which uh, these supports can be proud of. Is that almost the problem that you can't set your targets until you know what you've got to play with? Um, no, we've, uh, you know, I know players I want to get in quickly and um, you know, we'll be working towards that. And Wigan did it last season, I mean, they're already down the road. I know they had money to spend but it proves yeah. it can be done even when you're a big fish and you're a target for other clubs, doesn't it? Yeah, no, Wigan, Wigan did well, obviously had the huge resources to achieve that. Um, but 
you know, we were Bradford were five points off second place, and probably if we had a better start, we'd have got that second place. So I know what it takes to be at the top at the top end of this division, and um, you know the, the characteristics and the qualities required in the team. We're going to be working very hard to to obtain them. Final point: You've come through a lot of challenges in your career, and you've you've, you've got Colchester into the championship. <clears throat> And various other achievements, yeah. the League Cup final with yeah. Bradford City. How, where does this rank? How big a challenge is Bolton Wanderers right now? Yeah, it's got to be up there, but it excites me because of that. And um, you know, all the supporters, I can just say to them that I'll be giving absolutely everything to put a smile back on everybody's face. Um, not just the supporters, but everybody who works here at the, at the ground. And uh, that's my job, and uh, I'm confident I'll do it. And on a logistics point of view, is it backroom staff from Bradford coming over, or is that still some yeah, no, negotiation? We've, we've, uh, a few of the staff have come over with me already um, and uh, there may be a few more we'll have to see but it was kind of an agreement we had with Bradford if I was going to go the staff would come with me and it gives the new manager there the chance to, to build his own team.